Okay, so I wanted to make an updated video of the um, separator chord tutorial because I've noticed that I've had quite a lot of um, comments on the old video. So I wanted to do an update, seeing as now I realise that it's in a different tuning uh, to that of the one I made previously, um, thanks to kingofgear.com. Um, really cool website that has pretty much all you need to know about all the guitars and equipment that the guys use. Um, and yeah, it's um, it confirmed that Tom has actually tuned his guitar slightly differently, so I wanted to talk about that. But before I go into that, I just wanted to say thanks for getting me up to um, a thousand subscribers. I appreciate that. And YouTube also um reminded me yesterday that um nine years ago yesterday was the first time i um put up a video on youtube and yeah that's where it all began nine years ago time flies so anyway yeah i wanted to talk about this tune and up basically give you an updated version now that i um have seen that yeah it's in a different tune and i think i realized that like maybe i don't know a year or two after I recorded that first video and then, yeah, basically I didn't get uh, the time to, to do this video, so here it is now. So basically, uh, we're not in standard tuning, as I said, we're actually in E, A, E, G, B, E. So all you need to do is tune the, the D string up a whole step to E, so like this, so that it's in unison with first string. So there we are, E, A, E, G, B, E. It's actually um, the tuning for uh, Nude as well. And the tuning for the Tourist. So they've used this tuning before. So now, uh, as well as that, we need to get one of these, a capo, and put it on the sixth fret so that we're in the key of B flat major. So that's actually the first chord of the song is a B flat major. We're in the key of, of B flat, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say the chords relative to capo because it's easier for me. So the first shape is actually an E7, E, do, e dominant 7. So this. So that's your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string and your first finger on the first fret of the G string. That's all you need. It's like a an E without your third finger. So just these two fingers here. So the strumming pattern we've got is this sort of thing. Which is kind of like down, 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 pause, down, down. Up, 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 up. good at the talking about the strumming pattern so you're just gonna have to <laughs> figure that one out I think yourselves. But... So it's a down, down, pause, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. You can do it like that. So yeah, I'm just talking more about the shapes really to be honest. I'm not very good at talking about the strumming pattern. <laughs> it's quite hard to, to break it down to be honest. But we're in 4-4. Four, four. It's not too difficult once you get the hang of it. So that's your first one. I should say there's three sections to this, really. So this is section one. I'm basing this on an Ultimate Guitar Tab as well. Shout outs to, I'm not sure who actually did this, but nice one because it's this is what I'm going with. And as well as that, I'm listening to um, the basement version as well. Um, so it's not based really on the studio version at all. It's really just the um, basement version plus... Um, some live videos that I've been looking at as well and watching Tom's fingers from, from live versions of Separator. So, so there we go. Um, so yeah, that's the first chord. Second one after you've done that is this one, I believe. So it's like a D sus2 shape with the A in the bass. So you're just playing, I should say for the E chord you're playing all six strings. For this one you're only playing five, so you don't play the sixth string, you play the open A string, you play the open uh, D 
E string, then your first finger is on the second fret of the G string and your third finger is on the third fret of the B string and then leave the first string open as well. But you don't do that as long as the first uh, chord. You play that for it's like a bar and a bit, isn't it? One, two, three, it's like a bar really. And after that, um, you've got the melody line here. So da 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 da, which is what Johnny Greenwood actually plays in the studio version up here. But Tom is mimicking that with his guitar like an octave lower. And the way he's doing that is now I've got one, two, three, four, I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the G string. And it's just um, the fifth string downwards here. We're not playing the sixth string again. It's like the rest of the um, strings are open. So you're doing a hammer on here with your third finger onto the sixth fret of the G string. And then playing it again, the fourth fret. So four onto six, back to four. Yeah, four onto six. So just double checking there. So you're doing. Da -da -da. So the first strum on the fourth fret, and then you're hammering on with your third fret. You don't need to do two strums, just one strum to get that hammer on, and then take your third finger off, play that fourth fret again. Then this one's a bit harder. Sorry, yeah, can't even do it. Da -da -da -da. So you've got. Then you move on to the second fret of the G string. So you're doing this two strums. And then the second strum, you're hammering on again to the fourth fret this time of the G string. So, so you're doing like a pull off as well. So hammer on two strums, pull up, uh, hammer on. It's hard to say at the same time as doing it. I'm just going to do it a few times to be honest with you. Kind of learn by doing, I suppose, because I'm kind of confusing myself just by talking at the same time. So let me do it like a few times for you. So you're doing pull off, pull off. And that's how you get back into the into the E. So that's just section one. Let me just play it for you and you get a wee feel for it. So here we go. Sometimes he does this. He does the, 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 he does that. He adds the third finger onto the second fret of the G string. Sometimes I've heard that. So you'll do this. Like that. Um, there's the second chord. So that's the first section. The second section is this. It's the E again, followed by the second chord. And then the and then the third chord is this. I'm pretty sure he's doing this. He's he's putting um, um either his thumb or his middle finger maybe on the um on an F sharp on the second fret of the sixth string. So not really an F sharp, but relative to capo F sharp. And then I'm pretty sure that sometimes as well he's actually I've seen from the camera angles I've seen him playing this shape as well. It's like an E5, not a, an E major. I've seen him do this as well. Like that. So you can switch between the two shapes if you want. I'm pretty sure that the first time he does the E, and then the second and third time, remember, there's three sections, so I think the second section he's doing this as well. So you can chop and change between the two. It's up to you. So... There we are, there's a second section there. E, either this way or the E5. The D sus2 shape, with the, well, the E in the bass. And then, so that for me, I, I'm actually playing all six strings for that chord. So it's two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero. So I'm actually playing it like that, or you can play it like that. 
because I'm not sure if he's actually playing the open fifth string. And if you want to play it with the open fifth string, you can play it like that. Or you can play it like that as well, with your middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string. Um, but I'm not too sure, so I'm not sure if he's actually playing it that way and he's muting the fifth string and just playing it um, 2x0200. Zero, two, zero, zero. It's up to you if you prefer this or this. I think I like this, I think I like this one, the more open chord. So that's the second section. So section one is the, the one with the melody in it. Like that. Section two is E. And that chord again, and then this. And then again, you can chop and change between that shape or that shape. But for the, the third section, it definitely is this shape, but you need to also add your pinky in there. This is when um, Ed O'Brien is playing this sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure that Johnny Green was doing sort of the similar th sort of thing. He's doing the tremolo. He's doing that sort of thing. So that's, so jo uh, Tom is highlighting that chromatic melody line in there as well. So in order to do that, he's doing this. Sorry, I should have told you the fingerings for that E5. So it's 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 0. You don't play the D string. So the, you, the E string is open, the D string is open, the B and the E string are open there. So I'm playing it with my first finger on the second fret of the fifth string and my third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. So that's for the first or second sections, it's up to you if you want to do it, play it like that or that, it's up to you. And then for the last section, it's these three fingers, you actually need to include your pinky to get the unison to ease there. So your pinky on the fifth fret of the B string. So you're highlighting that um, melody line. So here we go. So you've got that, you've got like an E major 7 kind of chord. Think. Something like that, anyway. It doesn't really matter about the name, all we need to know is the shape, really. E or an E5, no third in that. So then you move your pinky to the fourth fret, so it's in the same fret as the uh, third string, so just behind it there. So you've got. Then you've got chord two again, and after that you've got pretty sure it's just like a sort of A chord there. So you've got 020450, that was a mouthful, then you've got 020440, then you've got um, X00230, then you've got X00220. So those are the, those are the chords there. So I'm just using the same finger there as I was for the last, second last chord and then just putting my middle finger there on the second fret of the B string. So section one. you give in that but when at last you give in. and the wake me up bit as well so there we have it um any questions you've got let me know um i hope that helps but yeah i've j I just had comments on the old video that i did maybe i don't know a few years ago now to be honest and i just remembered that I needed to update it with the new tuning and the new chord shapes and thought now's the time to do it. So 
yeah if if there's any other radiohead tunes you'd like me to 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 deconstruct then I'll, I'll do that or if there's any bands in general that you'd like me to to have a look at i can i can go over their chords or whatever as well so yeah keep me posted comment like subscribe all of the good things and i will hope to see you guys soon bye cheers <laughs>